Okay, so for that whole time, I didn't... For that whole time, I didn't have my headphone in. <laughs> well, that's great. Um, but yeah, I'm all set up now. We should be good to go. First things first, though. I gotta brush my horse. I gotta brush my horse. He's all dirty, and he needs to be cleaned up a little bit. I'm here. Uh, let's get you looking nice. Yeah, since I can't look nice anymore. There we go, just a little more. There we go. That should be nice and clean. I think. Alright, where are we going? We're at Emerald Station. Hmm. There's not much left to do other than story quests, to be honest. Ain't any... What happened to the other dude? I had the dude at Dover Hill. Is this quest only available for a certain amount of time? Hmm. Hey, my you know, welcome to the stream. It's been so long since I spoke to you. So long. Hey, <laughs> glad you could make it. Uh, we're trying to figure out what we want to do for today. Could do more story quests. We could do that. Um, hmm. Kind of want to go see what the stranger is about, though, and then maybe see if I can find Dover Hill, which was over here somewhere. Because I'm kind of curious about that, dude. I don't know why his quest disappeared. Let's see. Sorry, just got on you. Time to get off. Uh, take a ride to Annisburg. I like how money just doesn't matter anymore. Like, I have two grand. I don't really have anything to spend it on, because now you can't even put money into the into the camp anymore. God, it sure does feel like we're coming to a head now, though. Everything's ending. Yeah, right? <laughs> For this time period, I practically am. I mean, Dutch... Dutch asked what's his face for ten grand and that was supposed to fix up everybody in the uh be enough for everybody in the in the in the crew to go off and build our fortune somewhere. I'm already more than a fifth of the way there. Listen to me. Stop. Madam, gather round, gather round. Now I make no bones for my testament. For my testament is science, and science is God, sir. So help me, God, so strike me down. We are killing ourselves. Hello. Killing ourselves <laughs> Hello. fast and hard and nasty. Laugh you me, sir. The world is in balance, and the balance is off. I've been wondering, why are there so many know, Irishmen here? Crazy. Well, I think there were a lot of Irishmen that came in during this time period because of um, the railroad. I think I remember learning that, that they actually came in... Uh, to work on the railroad across the continent. Which I think this, that's still happening. If nothing else, there's still a lot of railroads here. I don't know if the, if the railroad all the way through California has already been finished. But I do remember it was a lot of Irishmen and... I think to a lesser extent also a lot of... Asian people? I want to say Japanese, but I might, it might be from another country. But we haven't seen many Asians around, which is actually kind of weird. Well, Irishmen specifically, unless they're, they're just the ones that I noticed. I think it was actually because they had the Irish, um, the Irish famine around this time period too. So a lot of Irishmen actually came over from Ireland because there was just nothing uh, to do in Ireland at the time. And with all the, the the construction work happening in the in the states, they were like, "Oh well, there's work over there, and work means we can actually eat." So, yeah. It was like a whole set of circumstances that made it so that Irishmen were the main ones coming over here at the time. Um, there were other groups of people, which I'm actually surprised we haven't... Because Irishmen are definitely... Oh, 
you. I'm sorry. Fuck. God damn it! I lost honor for that. I was trying to tell the story. God damn it. <laughs> but um. Yeah, Irishmen were big at this time period. I want to say Asians were too. There were a lot of Asian people who worked on the railways. Um, but we haven't seen any Asians. So, I don't know if they just didn't want to portray that. Or, you know, maybe not didn't want to. But didn't get around to portraying them. Or or maybe they were they were here for a different time period. Who knows. But you definitely don't see many of them right now. Maybe they were later on. Anybody live here? Yep. Hi, little squirrel. Oh, you're so cute. Also, wait a second, let me check something. So, I, I stopped to think about it today. The guy said that for the giant, you have to have 30 animals studied in the compendium. I don't actually know if I have them studied. Because, like... Ah... Uh, there's the problem. I have animals in the compendium, but they're not all studied. Look, like, this one isn't studied. Neither is the white-tailed deer for as many as I've seen. I didn't start to think about that today, but I'm like, wait, don't animals go into the compendium just for you killing them? And yeah, you don't... So, I, I don't even know how many animals I have studied. I've studied you. I've studied the alligator. I only have 33 animals in the compendium at all, though. So, more than likely, I just haven't studied all of them. You have studied... Yeah, I, I'm still kind of curious about it. Yeah, look, I didn't study the elk. Man, that's a rough one. I really want to go hunt an elk. I actually did want to check something. Maps... Oops. Because that's where I killed the bear. There's a legendary wolf and a legendary caribou up there. Up where I'm going right now, there's apparently a legendary moose. That sounds pretty cool. If it was to complete, they should have made the conversation more in depth and actually put a giant in there. Apparently, I rewatched the video today. I actually saw the first conversation. It wasn't very in-depth, but apparently if you come back to the same place within three days, or in three days, you'll have another possibly more in-depth conversation. And I honestly, I'd really like to listen to it. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth putting the time into just because I, I wish I'd known that was a thing. Study you while I'm here. I wish I would known that was a thing. I would have been studying animals along the way, but I didn't know. I thought that studying just gave you the animals information. And killing them was just as good as studying them because you killed them and you got the information anyway. It wasn't very in-depth. Oh, was it? Oh, okay, then yeah, maybe, maybe it's not worth it. It's a really kind of neat Easter egg. Does, I do kind of wish you could see him. Also, isn't a cave kind of a weird place to find a giant? Like, the cave would have to be very spacious for him to actually be comfortable living in there. What are those small animals? Alright, let's speed it up on the way up here.
the hell is that noise? To be our little adventure. <laughs> oh, what happened to you? More of a nook oh, cave, and the giant looked like it moved a big boulder in front of for a door or something. Kind of through the hole, but you hear, yeah. Either then that was me, but not super crazy. Yeah, that's true. Especially if the next conversation isn't very long. You all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now if if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation. Well. We came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. Oh All this God, that must squandering suck. and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm gonna do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. Well, you we did didn't not think this through. Poisonous berries, though. I'm a natural at finding those. Well. You ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Right. <laughs> Honestly. Come on. I'll show you. Aww. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Don't nah, worry, I'm not that kind of dude. Lead the widow to the hunting area. Me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, uh should probably get my bow. Down there, near the river. Oop. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. A bear? That's horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, Where are you I'm going? Sorry. Come here. Really his dream more than mine. Are you fucking kidding me? Come here. Back to Chicago if he said the word. But now I'm gonna get my bow off of you. I don't know. It's hard to explain. I have to do this. Are you fucking kidding me, Orion? I understand. Get over here. What are you doing? Oh my god, this horse. I guess we're hunting with a fucking pistol. Look at this bitch. Is he afraid of the woman? Is she gonna gank me? Is this a trap? He's trying to warn me. Alright, we're hunting with a pistol then. <laughs> What are we looking for? Well, I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I don't even have a knife with me. Don't worry, you won't need one. No. You can skin it with your bare room. teeth. I, I don't... Anything. Shh, just keep your eyes peeled.
There's a trail over there. Well, yeah, you don't use a knife for small animals, do you? God, it can't be that easy, though. Oh, my. <laughs> it worked. That is all there is to it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. Now you're covered in blood. <laughs> oh yes, at least. Thank you so much. I mean, it really ain't such. She needs to go back to the city, honestly. Good water source. It's remote, but we can survive here, all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh. A lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Oh, Lord. No. We're done for now. <laughs> oh, God. We might as well just give up. Wolves, stay back. Just to smell the dead rabbit. What are we going to do? Okay, let me reload. You all right? That could have been more elegant, but no worked. If you hadn't been here, I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. You want to skin these wolves too? Why not? Could be good. They're probably poor pouts though. I'll take them just for the meat because I think I've cooked up a little bit of my meat. Poor wolf pelt. And a wolf heart. Mmm, the heart's the tastiest bit. I'll probably just drop this out of cabin in case she wants it. I don't care about the wolf pelts anymore. I still can't believe he's gone. Orion, what the fuck are you doing up here? He's just been wandering around this whole time? God damn it, Orion. Yeah, 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 you just fucking go off again. <laughs> Look at him fucking prancing around. I just leave this right here for you. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us, for me, since we got here. Nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet. If you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. 
You take care, man. I wish I'd visited her sooner. I'm guessing I can do more quests with her. Orion, oh, get your ass back here. Oh, that almost brought me back to Max Honor. Yeah, no, I want to visit her again. Um, I'm guessing we have to wait a few days before her next quest shows up. But I do want to. I want to also go over here, because I think this is where Dover Hill was. And if we wanted to, you could do the, the mayor's quest to buy time and then come back and visit her. Unless this isn't the last quest. I mean, there's two quests left. I could do one of these story quests. And, those, I mean, they, the game can't end there, so. Maybe I'll go do the Charles quest. Yeah, the Charles quest sounded cool. Gotta help the Indians out. Yep. But let me check what's up here up north. God, everything got so gray. She found a really pretty spot to make a house, though. Just, honestly, not the best spot for somebody who's never lived in the woods. Alright, nice and gentle through the river. There's a legendary animal here? Hold on, what do we got here? Okay, I wanted to use the bow last time. But I don't think that's a good idea. I think we should take the shotgun and Springfield Ooh, what is this? Here we go this Oh, the legendary moose? Oh, this is gonna be scary. I'm probably gonna die. Just saying. Probably gonna die. Did you cross the river here? <laughs> oh god. Yeah, yeah, we're dead. What is that? Is that him over there? What is that? Oh, it's a bull elk. There's a legendary elk, too. Must be way off. Way which way, though? Oh, is that him? Across the train tracks. Come on. You stick around here, Orion. Stay. Stay here. Okay, up the ridge. Oh, he's right there! Holy shit, I almost walked up on him. What if I just dynamite his ass? Probably not the best way to do it. He is... I need to get a clean headshot.
Oh, he's just gonna run for it. He's not aggressive. At least he's kind of easy to follow. Wait, I dropped him! Whoa! Oh man, you were so pretty. All right, let's try it. Let's end it real quick. Why did my honor go down so much? Holy fuck, that was fast. God, you are a big boy. Oh, what? It wouldn't let me, it wouldn't let me kill him though. I kept pressing the kill button. Oh, that sucks. I kept, I pressed the kill button twice and nothing happened because he was like on a weird ledge or something. Oh, here you are. Well, fuck, now I gotta stow... I gotta carry this around. Is there one of the poke guys nearby? Animal carcass. God, they're so weird finding them. They're just in random areas of the map. I think there was one in town over here. It's one of these guys I need. Trapper. No, they're like randomly out in the wilderness, but... Hmm. Okay. We'll just deal with that later. Glad to finally get an animal to hunt though done. I wonder if it's a poor pelt. I feel like the legendary animal pelts are always good. Yeah. Might be wrong about that. I think having something like this on my horse though. Oh my god. Hold up, I need to feed you. Okay. Ah. Shit, there's wolves. There's a predator there. Honestly, the worst country to be out in, too. Wolves again. Yeah. God, this is a heavy storm. Ah, there's nothing up here. Unless that's the place. Probably was, too. Um. I am so far from civilization, too. I should go back here. And then, well... I'm not that far from the quest. I don't know if I want to start those with the freaking skin on me, though. Yeah, I think we're going to go back to Annisburg. Annisburg is probably the closest, yeah. We'll take the stagecoach down to St. Denis, turn in the skin, and then from St. Denis we'll go to Valentine and then do the quest. You know, I still... Still not 100% sure if I like or dislike the fact that you can't fast travel from anywhere. 
in a game this big. I feel like part of, it's kind of good cuz like it, it makes sense. It does. I don't know. Then there's times like this where it's like I don't want to go on a quest because I don't want to lose the skin. And I'm going to need my horse for a quest. I don't know, it's rough. God, this is so bad though, the storm. Should we just part where he travels on his own? Yeah. I feel like they should have given you the option to. But then if you give people the option to, they're, they're going to miss so much. But I guess that's on them too. Like, well, when you get into this game, you should know that there's like a lot to see and you shouldn't you know, I don't know. And I think they were just kind of forcing players to make sure they don't, they get to see as much of the world as possible. There's a bear right there. Which to an extent I can understand. But also, yeah, it's just weird. I'm so sad to let the moose die by itself too, by the way. That actually feels kind of bad. Especially because I lost so much honor for it. Okay, careful now. I was running you a little fast. Oop, sorry. Who's to skip everything and miss them? They're missing everything. That's their deal. Yeah, nah, that's true. I think it's one of those cases of the developer wanting to force the... I don't know why it's so creepy to me to see houses with lights that bright inside. But yeah, I think it's a case of like the developers being like, no, we work so hard on this, we're going to make you see it all. Which I can understand to an extent, but yeah, I kind of, I'm kind of on the, uh, the same page with you, honestly. Because like, I like exploring in games, but then there's like, because Assassin's Creed's a good example of that. There was fast travel there all over the place, and I'd use it all over. But when I wanted to explore a new place, I'd go ahead and explore it. Whoa, that was a strong bolt right there. Holy shit. Now, I'm going off the assumption that using the stagecoach will still get me my uh, skin there. tracks. Stagecoach. Saint Denis. I like traveling in Origin, so so I did, but sometimes I just wasn't feeling it traveling across literally the entire world map. Yeah, that's the worst part, it's honestly. Holy shit, this storm. Like, yeah, I understand. I'm on the developer's end, too. Yeah, also, that was probably the heaviest storm I've ever seen in this game. That was actually really cool. But, um... But, yeah, I, I, I think I definitely liked how Origins did it a little bit better. Like, you could travel anytime you wanted to. Thankfully, they at least have the uh, coaches here. It's still kind of rough, though. Oh, please tell me you still have my skin. Yes, okay. I was kind of afraid he'd drop it when I traveled like that. Now let's just go... God, I'm tempted to go to the mayor's because it's nighttime. But I... I that it's, that's going to be a quest again, and I kind of don't want to... I think that just turns in the quest. Let's try this. And if it turns out that isn't the case, then I'll leave a, I'll leave my horse behind. Because I can't turn it into the trapper during the day.
Looks like the Lemoyne Raiders are in here. Holy crap, the storm is even down in St. Denis. So I guess it's pretty realistic. Yeah. <laughs> Watch this guy and hope a tornado doesn't form true. Okay, let's hitch the horse here. Maybe it won't trigger anything. I said hitch. Oh my god, hitching is so weird in the game. Your horse has to stop in the exact spot. Okie dokie. What's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Old field guide. Listen, Mr. Arthur. I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... But what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Just straight up another quest. Oh, no. no. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh. <laughs> I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant. And we are friends. Oh Where my do God, I find dude, spit him? it out. He does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Arthur. I got some kind of book. Okay, you can try to run her name here. Highlights include tracking animals. I sky picking it up, rubbing it between my fingers, ringing it up to my nose, what the fuck? Farming gathering bones. Cover the bottom with hard wood ashes. Place a layer of the bones with them. Layer of ashes, alternating until the barrel is full. Pour a sufficient amount of your urine in the barrel. Day to wet everything. Over time, the bones will soften and crumble. Mix with dry loam and use as you would manure. Expire must be shot. Do not grieve, drawing it away from the woods to pollute the atmosphere. Watch you near the near your domicile instead. Place the carcass on top of the four or five loads of of sod or muck and sprinkle quick lime upon it. Cover in twelve months. A great deal of this book will be spent discussing beekeeping, how I'll keep a queen, thousand of bees. They live in. One in which upon any dessert wait. Do not mirror the ideal society in my mind, one in which one is everyone it swarms and murders outsiders and intruders, maybe hoping one day. Wow. Interesting. Oh, it stopped raining.
Okay, I actually don't think I should take you. Well, we'll take you until I find a horse that's tied up, I guess. Okay, fella. And then I'll steal a horse. Make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is gonna hurt, but it's for the best. <sighs> oh no. I have to fucking carry him there. <sighs> Which means I can't keep the skin. How do I take him? Oh, never mind. Maybe I just walk him there. It's not that far. to go out through a gateway. Okay, don't come in here. No, he's going past, I think. He's going past. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Quick, Miss Rather, bring him around the back. No, oh, Jean Marc, Jean Marc, I've missed you. I've missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Jean-Marc, can you hear me? Uh, where am I? Le mieux. What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Jean-Marc. Thank the Lord, our friend was there to find you. Really? I don't remember so well. <laughs> no, Jean yeah, I know, that's definitely what happened. Here. Sure you want me to just toss him here on the... Okay, that's fine. <laughs> My brother, my brother, Jean-Marc. Oh, we've been so... Uh, I promise to change. I know. Uh, well, <laughs> I know. Silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We... We will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, hey, sir. welcome back. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, 
How I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch. And a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Hey, Grad. Welcome to the stream. Now, sir. I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. And Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Are you serious? It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? No. Thought I might. But uh, all I, <laughs> I was thought I might. So. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth you out of me, it. buddy. And him. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lumiere's a foul rat. But I'm a man of my word. Let me live and I'll... I'll, I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on. Please. Please, come on. Shit, what do I do here? <clears throat> okay, on the one hand, Jean Mark is trying to help the city, right? I mean, he made a library, he... Well, the art gallery, I want to say, wasn't really for the city. Okay, so, these two, it's the mayor and his helper. And if you remember, I've been doing quests for the mayor, where the mayor, the first quest was beat up a guy who was trying to say that the art in his gallery was fake, because it was fake. But Jean Mark, but the mayor wanted it to become famous to help the city, so we beat him up. Next quest was beat up a guy who was talking smack about him. We did that, and this guy, his assistant, was getting like riled up about it. He's like, "No, that's not the right way to do things." And now we uh, beat up another guy to milk him, to make him build a library for the mayor for the town, and the library is done. I'm like, "That's helpful for the city, though, right?" Um. But now this dude's like, no, you're doing things badly, you're you're a bad person, I'm going to tell everybody about you. And so the mayor's like, no, you got to kill him then. So, technically this guy's in the right though. Um, I feel like I should let him live. I feel, because I feel like that would bring back, bring me honor, I think. I definitely say let him live. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's the right way to go. Um... Because I feel like the mayor's trying to do good, even despite the, the like, the, I don't know how you, there's a way to say it. Um, point is, he's trying to do good no matter the, the, the consequences of how he does it. And even if he is helping the city, I'm not completely sure if, it's, if he's not just helping himself, though. So, just in general, I think it's better to let him live. You want to show us a sad little man, would you? I might be a brute. I'm not a paid killer. Get out of here. Don't mention me, boy. I give you my word. Yeah, and I got honor for that. Okay. Well, that's worth it, then. Probably won't be getting any more letters from the mayor, though. Plus, it's not like I need money anyway. Oh no! What? I haven't ever run into cops before! I didn't think I'd run into them now! Oh my god, this is ridiculous. God, I just called my horse too. I just wanted to get the skin. I don't think they'll find me out here. Here, Ryan, you stay. They're not going to come look for me in the water. But I do need to get out of the pink area.
get out of this freaking pink area. Also, I need to try not to run into any gators. Okay, should be good here, though. Oh, thank God. Hopefully my horse can get to me. I don't know why, though. There you are. Hey, bud. What do I do about this? I need to get to the trapper. I don't think going through the city is the best course of action, though. Let's go around it. I can't pay off my bounty, can I? I don't even know. I, I just happened to walk by a cop. That's it, I think. Because I've been in St. Denis multiple times since I've become wanted. This probably nighttime isn't the best time for me to be skulking around, I guess. Hey, piggies. Nothing, nothing. Don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> Be so much easier if I could just find a trapper outside of the city. This will work out best though, because I can apparently make a trinket. Um, the hell am I? Oh, I can apparently make a trinket too. At the uh, fence, and I kind of want that. Sorry, I'd spare something for you, but I gotta go. There's Doyle's Tavern. There shouldn't be much law on this side of the town. And made it. I also wanted to see the... The... The freaking uh, priest dude again. Shopkeeper. Come on, I know I can wait until morning. Come on. This one's annoying because. There it is. An easy scalp to claim, friend. Oh, there it is. Me again. Not crossing you. Here, take these. 
Don't need any of those. I might keep that. Boar Tusk. Legendary Moose Pelt can be sold and used for crafting. So I sell this to you, right? $35. Well, it's been a little while, eh? So, what do you have for me? Moose Pelt to craft garments. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. So, what is the legendary moose garment? Trophy pot. Trophy book. Dreamcatcher? What is this? Huntsman. Which one's the one for... Ghost Bison? What? Best trapper I ever knew. My fourth wife. Native. You'd find a trail while the bloodhound was still sniffing its own ass. Hell of a woman. Rest her soul. Bear hat. Generary moose moccasins. Wow, you need like all the legendary animals to make any of these outfits. Wish I never had to take my stall into the city. Just like I wish country folk had any damn money. <laughs> there we go. Okay, well... I guess I need to hunt a lot okay. of legendary animals to get anything good. But I can get the trinket at a fence they send. They said. Well, look at this. A kettle from my past. Please look around. Much to see. Uh, craft. I have quite the skills, if you have the right ingredients. Moose antler. Legendary, you have enough ingredients. All finished. Truly what does it do? It increases prayer you. health experience by 10%. Oh, cool. Claw. Surprised I didn't get one for the bear. Quartz chunk. I do have one for the bear. Yeah, quartz chunk. I don't know where I get that. Okay, cool. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Excuse me. Oh, excuse you. Sorry, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Alright, Orion, now that we don't have to worry about that. Should really go to a store and buy you some food. I'm running low. Man, I wonder if I missed out on the uh, quest for the for the monk. It was here at one point, but it just disappeared. Photo studio. Is there a shop nearby? Medicine shop, saloon, no. There's the Charles Chatney quest, but I don't really want to do that one. So let's just go... Let's go back to the... To this thing, to the stagecoach. And then we'll go and do the, the next story quest. No, get on the horse. Also, eat something. You're fucking dying. Oh, those are cops. Shit, there are cops on the on the on the road. Okay, if I stay on this side of the trolley, you won't see me. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know you could run into cops. Have I just been lucky at avoiding them up until now? Cause that's actually pretty crazy. Uh, while I'm here. Our next train's coming right up. Check your bags and under your seats. I see you there. Give me a minute, please. Glad nope. See you on the up and up. Hmm? There we yes. go. Ah. Okay. Train ticket. Where can I take a train ticket to? Rick Station, Annisbury, Valentine. Wait, what's closer? Emerald Ranch or Valentine?
maybe Valentine just by a little bit. Surprised there's nowhere up here to travel to. Huh. Okay, Valentine it is then. Y'all right there, sir? Yes. Why? Bit. Thanks. See you again soon. Been some grip going around here. And I just thought, uh... Ah, you know what? Never mind. What can I do for you? You already did it. I'm gonna travel fancy today. God, steam trains are cool, but fuck, they kind of polluted a lot, didn't they? Like, that's a lot of coal smoke. There we go, a nice comfortable ride for once. Arthur deserves it. Arthur also deserves a bath. But that'll come later. Where's my... Where's over here? Hey, bud! Did they let you ride in the... In the... They let you ride in the, uh... Cargo wagon. It'd be nice if they did. Bathe that boy! I should have done it in Saint Denis, honestly. I wanted to go check out the bathrooms in other places. Don't worry, next time we're in a town, we will. I'm sure it'll happen soon. Poor boy, do deserve a bath, though. Who's this stranger? I never met him. Oh, brother. Oh, it's the the guys again, isn't it? The ones fighting over the woman? Right, let's see what these guys want. I almost ran into the train. But I didn't, because I'm a pro driver. Damn way. Now, you see, Helen, Acri here is. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash! No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The night and the name. Good idea. Hit me, <laughs> dear boy. Give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. The girl's just gonna leave. <laughs> You sure you want this, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you really walloped him. Right. Is it your turn now? Mm. I'm fine. Come on. Ooh, look there. I got a proper chin. <laughs> like Honestly, I bet this girl just keeps him around for entertainment more than anything. Hey, hit me again. Right here. Right here. <laughs> All right, let's punch you. Oh. <laughs> I thought you we were going for the face. Girls, punch a man for once. Give me your worst. <laughs> oh. 
It doesn't look like I'm hitting him all that hard. Barely even felt it. <laughs> God damn. Hit me in manhood. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't worry, sir. Miner made a steal. They've come out his ears. My turn. Well, on the bright side. If you do get within either of these two, they will never get you pregnant, lady. Enough, gentlemen. Yes, I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive. <laughs> Shoot him, please. Shoot okay, him. There, there. Up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? Good luck to the to the woman more than anything. Well, that was interesting. Oh, this guy wants to see me again. Hey, Miss Sinclair. Wonder what he wants to do. Anyway, we'll go to. Should we do John's quest? I kind of want to do Charles's. Because these guys are going to be fucking messing with the Indians, and maybe we can save the Indians first. I'm keeping an eye for the woman's quest, too. Hmm. Maybe I should spend the night. I don't think it's been more than two days since I saw the woman. Clear! I need the pass! So it'll probably be... Oh, I forgot my horse. <laughs> I'm just gonna run there. Can I smoke a cigar too to get my dead eye back up? <laughs> that didn't bring my dead eye up. Fantastic. What the hell? Full speed down the roads for miles. <laughs> Gotta go fast. His father was Sonic. It's okay. Alright, give me full speed there. My trusty steed. Yeah. Yeah. Your salmon are going down kind of fast. Hmm. I don't know about that, Orion. I felt like I was able to ride you for miles yesterday without your salmon going down too much. Okay, so this is the Cumberland Forest. That's a bird. Maybe after this quest, we'll go do the ghost thing again, too. And that'll give us a few days for the girl up up north to want another quest. Oh, I do want to help this guy. I keep not helping the blind. Hey, bud. Help the blind. Why can't I give you money? Help a blind man. Sure. Have this. There we go. I see the morrows and see them clearly, sir. Even when all reason is lost and all truth has become lie, you will stand firm. For loyalty is both your saving and your curse. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. That was pretty fucking spot on, actually, for your position, Arthur. What the fuck? Come on now, boy. Yeah, there. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's just probably some dude running around with forks, blinding people. Cause fuck, there's a lot of blind people. 
That would have been a cool bounty to have to pick up at a sheriff's office. Wanted. The wild forker. Wanted for making like 50 people blind in this one area. <laughs> yeah, not guns or knives. He's just running around with a fork poking people in the eyes. He's a dangerous man. Very dangerous. Let's go into cinematic mode. There's a train station we always pass. Go, Orion, go! I feel like the map's gotten so big recently too, because usually you go to a new part of the map and all the quests are just in that one section of the map. Now we're going fucking cross country for everything. Though part of it's because I've been really bad about the side quests and I have to keep going back for them. Here's where the giant should have been. Actually, let me let me actually hit you. Your tree or something. I don't think I can hit you here. I don't know. There are random places I can hit you. I don't know what they are. Oh, there's hitching posts right here. Yeah, you'll be fine. Hey, Charles. Charles, are you going to leave the crew for the Indians? Because that's pretty cool, but, like, I'm going to miss you. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh, he's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. I think Charles is going to leave us for the Indians. And honestly, that's probably a better place for him than the crew anyway. To be honest. Hope he's safer. Hello? Well, maybe not safer. These guys are having their own problems. Mr. Morgan. I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. He's very brave, very angry. <laughs> He's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. Yeah. He lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the oh, chief no. son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favors. No. And any chance we had. Your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. God, that's really fuck these guys over. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. Also, I wish I'd never gotten this Maybe this uh, bullet bridle. Because it floats it's above Arthur out. and it kind of ruins the cutscene screen. Look at that shit. That's it just floats above his body. Follow me. I bought it on a whim just because I could. But, like, it's kind of sucky. <laughs> Arthur, no! Arthur, yes! <laughs> Oh, 
What the hell? <laughs> that cow just started jumping. That's exactly what I thought, Arthur. No, Arthur, yes. <laughs> no, that's literally what I heard too. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. Oh that's God, another it. stealth quest. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <coughs> Damn, Charles, you had this planned out. Okay, let me no. get my. This wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on. D no, it's. Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw eagle flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that, or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. Pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I like Rain's fall. Arthur, no, it's all on Dutch. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was, oh, God damn it. Rain's fall is in a tough situation, and that's for Dutch. I gotta try. Oh, man, at least. Yeah. You feel that? There's you know, I forgot to talk more there. about that, but, uh... I know. Yeah, his loyalty is fucking ridiculous. Which is what the blind man was just talking about. It's his you curse and his down, and his man. gift. You get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. No, no, he's right. Bad. It's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die. Hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you are lucky. Sure don't feel like that. <laughs> kind of doesn't, you but I, I get what he's trying to do. The others. Zaya, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. They really, they, they, they really are actually, he are, he, they are the only ones he told. More vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to, to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way. Just keep your head strong. We're close now. We need to get across this river. God, Just this is a okay. beautiful fucking Water canyon shallow, too. But the current still looks strong, so be careful. I wonder if this is actually this is probably not a good idea, right? Riding a horse through water it has to swim through. I mean, a horse strong enough to keep you on board and. I don't know. Maybe they are pretty strong, I guess. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm hmm Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The rainfall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. I was gonna say, I just couldn't help feeling for the... For, the chief I feel so fucking bad for. That's a dude who's been through some shit just trying to save his people. Oh. Also, I didn't get to say it yesterday, but the fact that Dutch pushed the plunger in that last quest with the dynamite when I wasn't going to. <laughs> like, in any other situation, I'd say that's like a cheap way to tell you that you don't have a choice here. But honestly, it's so impactful that Dutch was so sure we weren't going to push it that he did it himself there. 
Like, that shows how little faith he has in Arthur. And, like, I wasn't going to do it. But, like, if it was the beginning of the game, Dutch might have not pushed the plunger himself. He would have just, like, expected me to and been surprised when I didn't. Over here. And, yeah, the Chief sounds super heartbroken. It's actually so sad every time I talk I to him. This is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. I'm trying to find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Patrol group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. There's two guards up front. If you take one, I'll take the other. Gotcha. Nice and quiet. Good. Let's make our way around the back. Stay close to the wall. And around the back? Why why did we take out the guards at the front then? There's a guard right above us. Yes, sir. We can take him out. Okay, let's go. Okay, come on. I do kind of wish there were more stealth quests in the game, though. This game isn't quite built for stealth quests, but... Gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I couldn't even see the one in the tower. I just kind of let the auto aim work there. This is the spot. Damn, he's got a fucking grappling hook. Damn, he's like Indian Batman or something. What's the plan? Okay, well you're closer, so I'll let you handle it. Do you want me to take him out? I don't think there's anybody here to see it. Stealth kill the guard. Okay, got you. can't freaking peek out and do it. All right, Charles, how about you do it? You go, yep. Charles. Sure. Yeah, you're closer anyway. Okay, Arthur, come on. That's what I wanted to do, but I was afraid I was going to mess it up. Another one up ahead. Okay, this one I can knife kill. George, you ready? Another two ahead. One each. Same as before. Good work. Come on. Get down. Okay. Hold back while I check the tower. Alright. There's a guy right there. I wish I could shoot when I was down on the ground. Fucking... 
Oh, I need to decide. I have to actually tell him that I'm not gonna... That I'm gonna take the lead or not, or it won't let me shoot. It's actually really annoying. They should have made it so that I can just do it. Wish he had a much bigger role. Dude, I still can't believe how awesome Charles' voice is. It's such a cool voice. Yeah, I kind of wish the same thing, too. Where'd he go? He's down here. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. Be sure arrow. You clear shot from the walkway up there. Okay. There's a lantern above a stack of wood. Oh, I see it, I see it. Are you fucking kidding me? Shit. Come on, get down, get down, get down. Hey, bro, what's up? Quickly. The cells are just in here. Okay, I stick the machete. Damn! Holy fuck! Is that you? Look for the keys. You have to get me out of here. We're gonna get you out. I'll check the table, Arthur. You search the body. Oh, search the body, okay. Okay, open the jail cell. That's a heavy door. Come on. Your father sent us. My father? He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Whoa, whoa. I'm fine, I'm fine. Nope. Ah, oh, damn it. I was about to say, can we still stealth our way out of here? Damn it. I'll have to shoot our way out. Why am I stuck? Gun is this? This is the one I like. The Springfield rifle? That's the one I like most. It shoots exactly when I expect it to. Look out! It's on the top there! Top where? And most of the time it's a one hit KO. Pushing to. Come this way. I remember seeing a hole in one of the walls when they brought me in. Damn. I must have fixed it. Arthur, deal with this, would you? Yes, but how? 
Dynamite. Dynamite, 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 dynamite. What about that cannon? Okay. Oh. No, dynamite works. Dynamite's the way. Why are horses waiting here? <laughs> Oh. Here, come on. Get on. I got you. Let's go, quick. All right, go, go, go. Oh shit! I don't need the bow. I need the rifle right now. I got him though. Ahead of us. Quick, down this way. The canoes are close. God, the Springfield rifle is the best. I, I've been trying to figure out which rifle it is that I liked. All right, I got you. Thank you, friend. Shit, I thought that was a horse. All right, let's go. All right, horses, do your best. Get out of here. I probably should have told you to flee. Too late now. Go, go, go. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Damn it, Dutch has already got his claws in this kid. This is some swell. Watch yourself. Last thing you need is one of us going in. Believe me, that Fuck, I think I need to shoot. Or I guess I'll just keep paddling. Wait. Can I put away the the thing? I don't even know what to do. I can't put away my my stuff. God, look at that lightning. Okay, I need health. Drink it, drink it, drink it! Drink some more! Oh, this is the end. No, I died. Let's drink a fortified health thing right now. How do I put things away? Oh, I can put it away. There's so many of them, though. It almost seems like I shouldn't. Bring out the gun. I guess I can't use those guns here. I guess the, the water will kind of carry me. I'm not close enough though, I need to keep close to them.
They have very little health because I'm not even getting headshots on them and they're dying, so that's good. Man, I'm surprised they were able to get so many people around the river mobilized. Shit, what's wrong? Did you get shot? I think we lost them. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? Speaking of the rain, you the rain's fried. His voice is getting even coarser, too. Heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father, even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. I'm fine. Let me take you back to your father. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No mention. <sighs> Oh, Arthur. Come on, we gotta get you out of the rain. Let's take these, we can make you a good meal later. Oh, Arthur! <laughs> oh, God, she's, she's fucking always here. I can't forget her, Brittany. <laughs> Oh, Arthur. <laughs> God damn it. Where's the other horse? You said there were two horses. Oh, there's the other horse. Come here, you. You look a little bit like my horse. Oh, my horse is right here, too. We apparently couldn't go that far. Said Valentine. I was hoping she'd be back. Let's go to Valentine and spend the night. Give Arthur a nice little bed. And I also kind of want to see if anything will trigger in the meantime. Since we're so close, anyway. Uh, where's the inn? the general store. The inn's not... Oh, yeah, I was about to say. The inn... De you can't close an inn. You need to be ready at these head travelers show up. Brittany, I don't know if you can, well, I don't know. I was going to say that if you, if you, I don't know if you can, but if you do know, like, the final quest, it, could you give me a heads up before, when, when it comes up, just so I know where it is? I, but at the same time, I don't know, I kind of, part of me wants to know, part of me doesn't want to know, and I want to know, because if that's the case, I want to go off and do some side stuff before I end it, like, maybe the ghost again, try to figure that out, but I don't know, I don't know. Inspect services. Yeah, let's let's rent a room and we'll take a shower when we wake up. The final quest will involve Sadie first. Oh, okay, okay. So maybe next the next Sadie quest I'll look at. 
to go upstairs. I've never actually stayed in an inn. Somebody crying? Hey. Did that guy say, I hear you, Arthur? Laughing at me? Oh my god, Arthur, you look pale as fuck! You used to be tan! Oh, my poor Arthur. Here, get some sleep. Let's go till morning. Or till noon, I guess. This leads into Sadie. I just know she plays a big role in it. Yeah, he's freaking ghostly! But okay, I got you. Maybe John's quest isn't the last one, then we'll do it. We might do his. Let's go get some food at the inn, too, because Arthur hasn't eaten in fucking days, it feels like. What the hell is happening in there? Is he being tortured in there? <laughs> Should I break this door down? I don't, I don't, I can't actually do anything. No, there was a guy being tortured next door. I gotta say, that kind of ruined it just a bit for me. Just a small tad bit. <laughs> yeah, no, I was about to say, I mean, I know you're asexual and everything, but I, I, masturbation isn't exactly painful. <laughs> With a gun, oh my god. He just got his dick stuck in a gun in there. <laughs> Oh lord, help me get this out! He just can't come out of his room because he's too embarrassed. I was gonna take a shower, but I'm actually pretty clean looking. Oh! <laughs> I, it's, I don't know, that's just not the first thing I think of when I think masturbation. <laughs> oh boy, my might He might! He might, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, that you know, that's a, that's a possibility, yeah. <laughs> Come on in. Got everything you need. Have a look. Yeah, I need to buy food for my oh, horse. I think I'm running low. No, I don't actually no, I don't want to do that. I wanted to buy Now. Let me have a look. Uh provisions. Dry goods. Bread roll. Let's take a few of these. Appreciate it. Biscuits, chocolate bar. I need classic oat cakes for my horse. Nice. Good. Uh, candies. Mm -hmm. Crackers. Okay, give me some canned food too. Brown beef joint, give me a cheese mm. wedge. Carrots for the horse. Uh, canned pineapples, canned beans. Canned uh -huh. kidney beans are good. Canned corn That's beef. Done. Okay, and that should be good. I guess I could buy some liquor for my dead eye. This is good stuff, the fine brandy. Enjoy. I'll take a Kentucky bourbon. And can I go back to the index? Um, I might need to buy some ammo. Cartridges, rifle cartridges, varmint rifle cartridges. For some reason I don't have any. Right, 
regular. Mm -hmm. Put up on those. I have plenty for these guns. So I might as well just buy one bullet. And that should be good. Can I get you anything else? Look around. Well, actually, what do you have in the clothes catalog? I have so much money to burn. I should probably go to the gun shop. I think I went to the gun shop, though, and they didn't have any... Oh, not the provisions. Come on. I think I went to the gun shop and didn't have anything, other unless I wanted to customize my guns. I'll let you look around some more. Get a trim, get fancy! Yes, also that. We should do that. Um, first, let's see. What do you got? The vaquero? Eh. Mm, the valentine. Is that it? Is that all you have? I know every town has their own outfits. I'm not sure I'm feeling it. Maybe this one with the trench coat? I get all kinds of coots come in here. That's something. What does this one look like? Doesn't really look all that fancy. Seem to have your eye on that. Yeah, no, not really. Thanks anyway, though. That's it for now. Let's go over to the saloon, get some breakfast. We're just gonna fucking stack up in this town. I might. Come on, little boy, let's settle this like men. Except challenge. Will I get in trouble for this? You're on. I'll be doing the world a favor. Come on, let's go outside. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna get all dirty. Wait, what is this? <laughs> I don't even have to do anything. Well, okay then. This guy. <laughs> God damn it! I thought we were gonna have a whole, like a whole fucking shootout. Oh my god! <laughs> I was actually kind of worried because I'm like, hmm, I might get fucked over here. Got a lamb's fry or beef soup? Let's go. The lamb's from more expensive, so maybe it's better. Look at that, it's like eggs with pieces of meat on a bread. Looks pretty fucking good. Fucking killing redskins. God damn asshole. They weren't Christians! So I sent them to hell. Welcome. Be sure to thank me. All you fools should thank me. Got something in mind? Alright. Let's see, facial hair, trim that back. Ain't no wild west no more around here. Down there. And should, should we try a new hairstyle? Or? Yeah, I just kind of want trim. Well, well, this hairstyle doesn't get trimmed back. I don't know, I kind of like his hair. Let me just trim it back a little bit so it's a little bit more tamed. God, look at this dude. make a fella sick. I'm not gonna get into it with this dude. Alright, what's there left to do? I guess I could check if they have any guns. This damn place. I don't think they do though. Will you move? Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? Might be. It's been a long time. What can I do for you? Okay, now let me see. Raiders rifles. So I uh, rifles are like a lot. Uh owned, owned, owned. Do I own all of them? 
Yeah, I kind of figured I probably would. Sawed off shotgun. Damage. Range is awful. You'll I like the double barrel better. Down with that too. Pump action. Semi auto shotgun. Fire rate, reload, accuracy, range. Range is about the same. You better get ready for a mess. I'm about to take that repeating shotgun. I'm gonna take the semi auto. Carry it with pride. Components. Barrel. This will shoot better with some new sights. A little bit more accuracy, yeah. Just fucking trick out this gun. Improved rifling range up. Yes. Iron sight. How about you get some new sights for this, huh? Uh-huh. Stock, does this do anything? New trigger, brand new bolt. Your pick. Yes, I don't really like the, the aesthetic stuff all that much. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Styles. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Oh, it's already engraved. I could change the color. Frame maybe gold? What if I made it all gold? Jacob Worth is a friend of mine. Straight up him, gold. But he's just about the worst poker player in all of Valentine. There we go. That's what we need. Gold shotgun. Hell yeah. <laughs> hmm. Varnish. Let's make you nice and dark to go with the gold. Nice and... Well, none of these are really dark. That's the darkest. Why not? Or like a black one. Probably a close dark walnut. Alright. Ammunition. I already have. It doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Regular slug. Ooh. Yours now. Slug good, shots. Good. I'll take some slug shots. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Okay, can I customize some of the guns I already have? What are accessories? Nope. Not revolvers. Well, you know, I've been in need of a better revolver. Fire rate damage. Show field. Volcanic pistol is the one I got over there. Semi auto pistol. I'm kind of liking this one. The show field. You'll love it. Bonus grip. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt. Your pick. Ironwood grain. I don't care too much about that. Have anything for length? Wait. Oh no, it's better with the long barrel. No, I took that off. Brood rifling range. I bet this will shoot better with some new sights. Smile on your face, guaranteed. Styles, metals. Let's see if we can just make, make you really sober looking. Give it a personal engraving. Just straight up sober. And some varnish. Ooh, I like that one. More bounty posters that go up, the more people flock to my shop. Plenty of reason for that, Valentine. 
Because you're never going to see this. I don't see the point in wasting money on it. Uh, ammunition, what do you got? Express. Hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. High velocity. Range up damage. This stuff is good. Uh, I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Okay, now can I go back? I want to customize the, the Springfield. Cannot wait to give this a try. Same, honestly. Uh, customize. Show field rifle, the shield repeater. Springfield, there we go. Yeah, clean it. Oh, I didn't know you could clean the up. weapon. Components, barrel. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. You'll be very pleased with this. Oh my god, I wish I would have done this sooner, honestly. Short scope me. No, I don't want to scope it. Then it becomes a sniper and I can't really use it for anything else. Wide grain. This looks That's nicer. Great. Rap doesn't really do much of anything, I don't Smart think, whatever. Styles. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Black and steel. Yeah, let's go black steel on this one. Whoops. Well, most of these are already black steel. And let's go silver trigger. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. Hmm. Okay. Ammunition. Do we have better ammunition for you? Well, it doesn't hurt Whoa, to stock look up at the on ammo. damage on that. Know. I'll take the damage. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Okay, and that'll be my main three guns. Can I do something to the hunting knife? I can style it. Metal. Let's make, make it a gold really knife. Give it a personal engraving. Or a black steel. Blued steel. Black and steel. Yeah, the gold's a little gaudy. We could do silver. Do black steel. And an engraving. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so <gasps> a burb. My burb. All right, we're gonna do that one. Can we do it in gold? All the bounties running around New Hanover. Ooh, I'd be out black of steel, gold inlay, maybe silver. Yes, the owl burb. Okay, well, oh, gold. What is this? Ornamental. Yes. Yes. Yes, I like it. I like it a lot. Varnish. What if we do a bright varnish? Something like that. Jacob Worth maple. Jacob a friend of mine. I admire him. But he's I like just the maple. the worst poker player in all of Valentine. No action. Um, and while I'm at it, maybe I should clean some of these. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that, as far as I can see. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that, as far as I can see. rifle. The bolt action I do like using a lot too. It's beautiful condition. Keep it up. So yeah, a double barrel shotgun could probably. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that, as far as I can see. Sure. Arcano rifle. I probably should fix that up. You oh, you're already clean. That like your own child, Rolling right? block rifle. That's Good the other on. one. Well, that one's clean. 
Beautiful condition. Keep it up. Board action. Board action I use a lot too. Because a lot of these weapons I haven't been cleaning. Like your own child, all right? Good on you. Beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that. There, there, there. Okay, see. all good, all good, all good. Okay, enough of that. Got some good shit now. See ya. Get out the way. What is wrong with you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I was staring at my golden shotgun on my back. God. Didn't you see I'm a little enamored right now? Maybe if you didn't say... Oh, she's back! Charlotte's back. Ooh, I kind of want to go do Charlotte's quest. Let's do, let's do Charlotte's quest real fast. Because we can get to her really quickly anyway. And then we'll come back and do John's quest. Because I'm actually really curious about her. And how she's getting along. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we just went back and she was dead in the cabin. Like, honestly, I, I feel bad, but I wouldn't be surprised. Temporarily unavailable. Uh, Annisburg. Oh my god. She did not belong out in the wilderness. I don't know what she's doing over there. I hope that's not the case. I really hope that's not the case. But, like, I feel like that's how this is going to end. We're going to go visit her sometime and she's going to be dead. John she should have. She should have taken me up on my offer to take her to the station. Just gone back to the city. She's got to have family somewhere up there. Yeah, right? At least St. Denis, if nothing else. I wonder if that's the city she came from, actually, St. Denis. Because when she said the city, I was thinking, like, Boston or New York or something. Wanted dead or alive. Okay, now let's mark her on the map. Yeah, there we go. Hey, there's the other dude. That's the dude I wanted to go visit. Marco Dragger. I don't know why their missions only show up sometimes. I wonder if they're only available at some certain times. That's probably it, actually. What the hell is going on up there? Why is it so bright? Lantern light in this game is fucking ridiculous. Go, go, go! Full speed! Like, Arthur could have taken her to the city. Oh, no, yeah, that's what you said before. But, yeah, no, seriously. That probably would have been the smart choice for her. So where's my phone? I hope I don't crash while I'm looking for it. There it is. Because I hear messages. Oh, wait, am I here? No, I'm not here. I was to say, is that her house? No. Okay. Back to it. Look how pretty that sun, that moon is. Wish I could, like, train the camera on it. I will say the north, the northern, like, mountainy area, that's probably my favorite area in the game. Well, in excluding Guarma, because I actually like Guarma a lot, too. But, like, this area here with, like, all the mountains and vegetation and stuff, this is really pretty. Fucking assholes. Don't see me coming through at full gallop? What is that? Okay, now we're close to her. Hello, Mr. Elk. Also, she says something about me. Oh! 
So, Kim says she'll be ready. What is happening? Kim says she'll be ready for the location. Someone living near. Um, Kim says she's be ready for uh, GTA in an hour. What do you think, Mayuna? Because if you were up to play it right now, uh, in the daytime, I'd go. I'd probably make this the last quest, and I'd go eat something and be ready for that. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. Hey, she's doing better. I'm gonna learn to hunt. I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. And how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just getting blasted. Is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing. I should be good for it. I want to get a little more art done, but if we're going yep. to the earlier on while you gotta while we can, I'm good for it. Steady. Um, I mean, I'm good for it any time during the day. Just focus. Um, I figured this might be good too, so that you're not up late tonight. But if you if you want to get more art done, I I don't mind waiting another hour or two. It's up to you completely. As for Kim, I don't know what her schedule is like, but I want to say it sounds like she's free. Calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. Oh dear, what happened there? Oof! I suck, I guess. If even you struggle sometimes, maybe I shouldn't <laughs> feel so hard on myself. I thought it auto locked on one. You try now. Remember to breathe. Yeah, so an hour seems good. Okay. In that case, this will probably be the last quest. I'm gonna go grab something to eat, and that way I'll be ready for it. Would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the. Inhale. Oh, look how pretty the sky is turn. here. Focus on the inhale and show on the Shoot three bottles. Oh, come on. What am I doing? Hold on, lady. I swear I'm not weird. Okay, can I? No, I can't mark you. How's oh, that? No, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Where? Kill it, please. Where? Uh, got away. I told you it was fast. Anyway, my turn. I couldn't even lock onto it. Where was it? I'm not being very impressive for this woman right now. Double action. Show field. I need to try this one out. Yes! I hit it! I hit it, didn't I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> what can I say? Thank you. <laughs> I'm not weird, I swear. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. You still have some of that rabbit? How long does a rabbit last? Open mirror parcels, you can pick them up at the post office. Okay. It's probably the mayor angry at me. Can I sit down? No. Go ahead German. and take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. All right, Mom. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <laughs> you make it into a stew? Bon appetit. Huh? A Please single enjoy. ladle. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. It was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. She's kind of cute, too. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. 
But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And yeah, very fine line. Born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <laughs> Sounds terrible. There's just so many people, so many things. Wait, what's happening? Lost Are you getting sick? Crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself picking fresh uh -oh. vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a uh -oh, great I think, novel. I think Arthur's getting bad. And I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <coughs> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> <coughs> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make. Oh God. Stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. Oh, listen to him wheeze. He can barely breathe. We passed out here of all places. Did she go out hunting without us? My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. Should I take it? She told me to take it. Yeah, I like her a lot. She's pretty cool. I actually was thinking maybe they were trying to make her into a ship, too, that she took care of Arthur. Looks like she just dragged me into bed, though. Which, I mean, is nice of her, too. Leave it. Yeah, no, I figured I should probably leave it. I have all the money I need, too, lady. Oh, I wish I could have said goodbye, though. Hope I can visit her again. I like how she was expecting me to be gone when I woke up. God, I hope she's okay out there. Yep. Alright. Well, I guess since we're going to be doing GTA soon, I'd better leave it here. I'm actually really kind of sad about that. I wanted to, to play for a little while longer. But, I'll play tonight probably before bed. Um... Maybe. We'll see how long GTA takes. So, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and save. I wanted to see more. Yeah. Don't worry. I still have... I, I'm still off of work all the way until Tuesday. I don't go to work until Wednesday. So, there'll be plenty of time to play more. But I figure if we're going to do this GTA, we might as well do it. Because who knows? <laughs> who knows when we'll actually get a chance to play again. Um... But yeah, there shall be more. No problem, because I'm way into it. I'm so into it. And like I said, more than anything, I'm more I'm more like afraid that the game is going to end. And I'm uh, kind of sad about it. But yeah, for now, anybody that's still watching, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with the lovely and amazing Mayuna and some other friends for GTA in about an hour. So, see you guys then.